Hey, Damar, John Scott here from Spectrum News in Buffalo. Congratulations. Um, tell us about your relationship with Dane Jackson. Uh, that's my brother. Um, that's literally like a brother to me. Um, you know, we, we grew up on the same side of town in Pittsburgh, so we knew each other since we was about, I'll say about seven, eight years old. Um, you know, ever since we've been on the same mission. Um, and we happen to be on the same path and going to, to pit together. And it's, it's a dream come true to still be on that same mission, uh, being together at Buffalo. And what sort of conversations and things has, has he told you about Buffalo through his one year? Um, just, you, just, you know, uh, just the process of being a rookie and, you know, just the confidence level that he had, um, you know, going from, from camp to, to, you know, starting um, the game, um, to starting when he did start, you know. So uh, just, just seeing that from him, uh, you know, even when I was still in school, it just gave me the confidence that, that uh, I belong at this level. Um, so to be able to be on the same team as him once again, um, you know, I know I know my work ethic. I know his work ethic. I know we'll be um, in each other's back pocket and I know he'll be a tool for me to, to, to um, be an asset to this team as much as I can. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. Hey, Demar, how are you? Sal Capaccio here, WGR Radio. Um, after you were selected, uh, Topic J of ESPN was talking about your special teams ability and how you know you could really carve out a niche as special teams as well. Can you can you kind of talk about your willingness to play special teams? How much you can contribute in that area? Man, throughout this whole process, my uh, I've been preaching that I'm just willing to do whatever just to be a, a, a contributor on the team. Man, I don't care if it's a, if I got to pass out water uh, at halftime. You know, I just I just want to be on a on a uh, on a winning team and I just want to contribute. Uh, so no matter what it is, I'm willing to do it. Uh, I don't got no pride. You know, I'm, I'm the, if you know me, you know, I'm a team player uh, from day one. So uh, no matter what it is, I'm, I'm ready to do it. If coach needs it. I'm, I'm here. Congratulations to you. Welcome to Buffalo. Yes, sir. Thank you. Hi, Damar. Uh, congratulations. First of all, I I'm curious, you know, baked into this, you know, your conversations with the Bills and what they kind of envision for you. What do you envision of yourself, not only right off the bat, but over the course of your career and how you fit in this league and what you can do? Um, you know, I, I just, I kind of, I kind of let God lead the way. Uh, I hope that's not too loud. Some, some but, oh no, you're good. But, uh, you know, I, I really just let God lead the way, you know, um, but what I envision for myself, I definitely see myself just, just being a hard worker, uh, just putting my head down um, and, and just and just leading a direction of, of the older guys on the team and, and coach, you know, and um, I feel like that'll take you a long way. When you were talking to Dane throughout this process, what did he tell you about the importance of the senior bowl and what was it like getting out there and that experience for you? Uh, yes, sir. Um, so he told me the senior bowl, just an opportunity to get around other top athletes. And you know to perform to show that to show that you are one of those guys. So uh, you know I, I feel like I did what I had to do down there, um, and it was a great experience. I learned I learned a lot of things down there, and uh, you know I'm just I'm ready to get to Buffalo and just put my head down and work. Thank you. Congratulations again. Thank you. Oh no. Hey, Mookie, you, know, you can go. Hey, Damar, sorry to jump on again. Uh, this is Sal from WGR Radio again. I see you went to Pittsburgh Central Catholic. Um, yes, that sir. is a huge football school, right? I mean, you guys have a ton of alumni, including Dan Marino, I think, Steve Wisniewski, right? I mean, Wisniewski, but, um, you know, how did that prepare you, you know, growing up, going to a place like that? Uh, it prepared me well, uh, you know, going into it at first, you know, I was a um, small fish in a big pond, but, uh, you know, uh, like, I, like, like I will have to do in Buffalo, I put my head down and I just worked. Uh, I got around some good, some good leaders um, early, that I trusted and, uh, you know, they, they led me in the right direction. Um, I, I kind of picked up on their habits early and it was, it was able to uh, make me, make me successful in the long run. So, uh, you know, it really been that process every step of the way, you know, from high school to college and uh, it'll probably be the same going into the league. So, you know, I, I'm looking forward to getting with some vets and getting with Dane, of course, and uh, just, just learning the ropes and uh, just trusting their way.